Well, we're going to try a couple of records today. We want to try it around the Isle of Wight, so see if we can get under two hours, and then uh, go straight into the fast set. Kind of ambitious, but uh, the wind's right, the water's flat, the team all ready to go. It should be a lot of fun, really? except it could be 20 degrees warmer. It's early in the morning, we're just uh, prepping to leave the dock. The northerly's just blown in and this is what we're going to ride. The sooner we leave and get out on the fast net course, the better the tight gates are on the way around. It would be really nice to start off the fast net one with the Isle of Wight under our belt. If it's not under our belt, then it'll be all eyes uh, just on getting that fast net back. We've got two options. We either wait and see how it settles down, or we decide now that it's a no, and we just get straight into fast net. Stand by. No! It's like driving a rally car. It's really high performance. They're really sort of rigid beasts and you just feel any acceleration in them and they just keep going. So, you know, two meters, three meter seas, you'll still be doing 30 knots. Five and a half hours into it, we're just coming up to the lizard. So that's uh, already well and truly on record pace. We're about to come round uh, out into the Irish Sea. Expect it to start getting lumpy out there. But so far so good and uh, what, 18 and a half hours to go. <laughs> Uh, we're about 45 miles away from uh, the finish line here. We're sort of averaging 22 to 25 knots. And we're just borderline. We, we'll break the record. Uh, I think we'll just be outside the 24. So uh, all good on board. All right, world record holder. <laughs> you know, last night when it was like minus 10 degrees, wind chill factor, vicious seas in the Irish Sea, blowing 20 knots, doing 25 knots, five people being sick already, and I'm about to. <laughs> it was fantastic, unbelievable. They did a great, great job. Incredible team.